What's going on guys? Welcome to Fearless Friday. I was reading this article and it was saying something like one in every 30 men go out and approach women. So I started thinking, I said, what are the rest of the guys doing who are not out approaching women? And it dawned on me, I said, are they, are they, are they sitting at home just hoping and waiting to meet a girl at some point in their lives? And that was like a trippy thought, right? Because I was like, even if they are sitting and waiting for a girl to run into them at some point, finding a girl that they're actually attracted to to run into them, that's even slimmer of a chance. That's ridiculous. And I started thinking, I said, dang, I'm so glad that I did the work that I did around approaching because I actually really love it, right? My girlfriend was actually asking me the other day, she said, what is it that you like about dating? What is it that you like about approaching? And I thought about it for a second. I said, the hunt. Like, I love the hunt. There's something about the hunt of it to me that feels really good, almost like a sport in a way. And so I thought about it and said, what can I give you guys that'll actually make you guys enjoy the hunt the way that I enjoy the hunt, right? So even in my curiosity, I went out and I was like, um, just kind of curious to know from a woman's perspective, how often do women actually get approached? So I ended, up in, I ended up in a Reddit sub where this guy was asking these women, he was like, well, how often do you guys get approached on the daily? And the girl, some of the girls like, daily? They're like, zero. And it was like, maybe once a year. So like the guys, I was thinking too, I was like, dang, that's crazy, right? They get approached maybe once a year, once or twice a year. Like 90% of the answers were zero. And I started thinking, I said, well, even if it's once or twice a year, what are the chances that they're actually getting approached by guys who are solid? Meaning not a guy who's catcalling, who's trying to get their attention, not a guy who's just waving and saying hi, or not a guy who's being creepy and hoping to get something from them, but a guy who's actually showing up, wanting to meet them, curious, open-hearted, wanting their number, wanting to go out on the date with them, and who was very intentional and clear about that. And I was like, that's even more slim. That's ridiculous. And so I think about it, I go, dang, it's really crazy because it's really a buffet out here for the men who are out here actually approaching women. And I think that's a great thing. So again, I want to share with you guys three ways that will change, or three things that will actually change the way you look at the hunt so you guys actually start enjoying the hunt because the hunt is to be enjoyed. But before we get into that, I want to talk to the guys who are new to the channel, or maybe you guys have been watching for a while and you haven't liked and subscribed yet. I suggest you hit like and subscribe, right? You guys obviously know us, we're a dating company who teach men to be more solid, more confident in themselves. At the core of everything, what it's about is about you guys having a way more expansive life and even more so an expansive dating life, right? And it all kind of works hand in hand. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit like and subscribe so you guys don't miss content that we're coming out with. There's a ton of videos in our catalog that are geared towards making you guys more solid and make you guys men who really love tension but also enjoy dating, right? Women are always super appreciative of men who show up solidly. Even if they say they're in the relationship or they have a husband or, or they have a boyfriend, they're still super appreciative of it and I hear it all the time. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of it. The one thing I really enjoy about the hunt is who it grows you into being in order to get the results that you want, right? So maybe you don't have the results that you want now because you're at a certain level of consciousness or a certain level of awareness about one, who you are around dating, around women, right? And so when you're out doing the, the approaching work or you're out on the hunt and you're out approaching, you're getting rejected, what you're really doing is you're leveling yourself up and I'll get into that in the third thing, but you're actually leveling yourself up to be the kind of guy, the girl that you're looking for actually wants to date, right? And you get there by going through the process of approaching, getting rejected, getting knocked down, and getting back up, right? So that's one thing I really love about going out and being on the hunt because I know it's gonna push me into some tension, but it's also gonna grow me at the end of the day Looking back on it now, it's been probably about, uh, i say two or three years I've been approaching, and I never thought I'd be where I'm at with it now when I first started because it was so difficult, okay? So if you guys are there, trust me, learning to enjoy the hunt will change that, okay? Now, the second thing I love about the hunt is this. When you're the hunter, you are the chooser, meaning that you are not at the mercy of, let's say, online dating profiles where the girl shows up, she actually looks 10 pounds heavier than she does in her photos, or looks completely different than the person who's in the photos, or somebody, your friend wants you to date, right? She's got a friend and she thinks you'd be a good match for her, and then you meet her and you have nothing in common with her, or you're just not physically attracted to her, right? 
when you're the chooser, you're out there and you physically see a girl that you're interested in and you get to decide whether you want to show up and meet her or not. And in doing so, as you level up and as you get better with the stuff, the girl that you end up with is somebody you actually chose, right? There's no better feeling than waking up in the morning next to somebody that you're actually happy to look at <laughs> in the morning, all right? And I don't know if you've been there, guys, but that's a really great feeling. There's not a happy feeling waking up to somebody that you're like, what am I doing here, all right? That's a pretty bad feeling to feel, okay? So change the way you look at that. You guys are choosing your destiny. You guys are choosing the dating life you want. Just like you guys choose the career that you want in your life or choose the lifestyle that you want to make the money that you want. It's the same thing, but you're choosing it in dating. Now, the third thing, and this is kind of similar to the first one, but it's a little more specific. Brian says this, the masculine grows through challenge and he couldn't be more correct, right? Think about it. When you guys are hanging out with your boys or your friends, how often are you guys constantly, constantly challenging each other, right? constantly maybe physically maybe through joking maybe through poking right that's the kind of stuff that we men like we love growing through that and when you're going out and you're approaching and you're getting rejected and you're getting knocked down then you get back up and then you start to have a little bit of success right and you get knocked down again and you get up and you have an even bigger success right these big wins right where you guys are are going from like maybe getting a number then not getting girls to reply to you to all of a sudden you got all these girls you don't know what to do with and they're all attracted to you, hitting you up, wanting to hang out with you. The masculine goes to the challenge. I love the challenge of it. And the quicker you guys can start to enjoy the challenge of it, the quicker you guys will become better at it, okay? Now, those are my three things. I hope that really helps or gives you guys a little bit of insight on what it's like to be the hunter, but what it's also like to have fun being the hunter. Because the truth is this, and we hear this a lot, Women are always constantly telling us they're thankful for the work that we do here at Fearless because we're putting better men out into the world. And I couldn't agree with them more, right? What woman doesn't love a solid dude to show up and enter her life, right? They're constantly looking for that, but there's so few of those in the world. So I want you guys to become that so you guys can actually go out and bless women with your solidness, your grounding, all right? Your ability to connect and contain. So anyways, guys, go back and watch the video I have on being the chooser. And I'll put it right here, right? Become the chooser. There's so many gems in that video that talk about how to become the chooser of the women that you bring into your life versus, again, being at the mercy of any old person who wants to come into your life because you don't feel like you have a choice. Okay, guys? Anthony signing off with Fearless. Remember, only the confident really lift. Peace. Peace.